everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and today I'm going to be sharing with you a few of my IKEA favorites these are some of my absolute best buys things that I absolutely love and adore and I think that you're going to love them too there are a few DIYs in there as well so yeah if you want to know what I've been loving from IKEA then just keep watching let's get started Okay, so my first favourite on the list is this. This is basically a DIY project. So we've got the two Songa Sand units. These are actually quite new in IKEA. And I bought two of those to go either side and then we've created a vanity space. So what we did was we bought a worktop from IKEA and then cut it to size and put it on top. So we don't actually have anything fixed on top because we didn't really need to, but you could glue it down or nail it down into the units if you needed to. But for us, this works absolutely fine. I did also use this method in my office space area when I had an office downstairs and I actually bought the marble top from Ikea which looked lovely as well and I actually used mound dressers for the desk downstairs but this is a song of sand. I really love the kind of classic look of this and if you wanted to you could spray the handles or you could change those if you wanted to change it up a little bit. It's really versatile as well, you can really make this work for your space depending on how much room you've got. So that is my vanity area. Absolutely love this, it's so, so good. Such a clever idea and was really easy to do as well. So favorite number two are light fittings. Ikea have so many great light fittings. This is in my son Orlando's bedroom. This is his nursery and I think it looks absolutely fab. Very, very cool. This could be like from anthropology, I think. It just looks really, really great. And we've also got some other lights in the other bedrooms, which I will show you now. I will also link these down below if you wanna know which ones these are. I've also got this light fitting here. This one is in Renzo's room. It's got like a copper detail at the top here, but it does come in another color as well, I believe. And yeah, it's just this cool ball. And I absolutely love this one as well. We've had this since we've moved in and it still looks fab. We've got kind of copper details in here and I think this looks great in here. And then another light fitting we've got is in Vinny's bedroom. I always get questions about this one. And again, it's just from Ikea. I thought this was great. You could also use this as a DIY to create a planter. And I'll show you what I mean because I've actually done a DIY video. I'll link that down below if you wanna see all the DIYs I created, but I have got that DIY in here and I'm gonna show you it right now. So this is what I mean by using it as a planter. So I have just tipped this one upside down. This is the smaller light fitting and I've just put a plant pot in there as well this is also from Ikea as is the plant and yeah it's just a great way to kind of change up the light fitting and use it as something else very inexpensive but it looks really really stylish as well while we're here I'll talk about my next favorite which are of course Ikea plants these are the faux plants they do real ones as well but I just find the faux ones are so fab and they look really real as well so this is one of them really really inexpensive I think this is about six pounds which I think is great so we've got this plant here which is in Orlando's bedroom I just think that they're a great way to add a little bit of life and color to a bedroom or any room for that matter and if you're not very good at keeping plants alive then these faux ones from Ikea are be fabulous I think it looks great you can pop it in one of their baskets that they do as well if you wanted to get the basket from Ikea or a container they've got loads of pots and things like that this is one of my favorite plants again I will link this in the description down below for you so you don't miss out this is another one of the plants that I got and again Again, this planter is actually from Ikea also very inexpensive but I just think they look really really cool in a room and just add a little bit of color and then I've also got this really cool hanging plant here as well which looks fab on shelves so if you want to pop this on a shelf somewhere or anything really where it can just hang I just think it looks really cool and again it's super realistic as well so that is the other plant plants are definitely a must buy from Ikea I think they're absolutely great value for money kids toy storage is another great buy from Ikea I believe this is from the best arranger I'm pretty sure it is if not I will make sure I get the right one down below but basically this is fab for any kind of toy storage or even clothes storage it depends on you know your room setup and things like that I actually bought this so I could put Vinny's toys in here it is actually going to be going soon I might pop this into Renzo's bedroom because I'm going to restyle Vinny's bedroom soon this is great also it's like a little desk area for I would say up to kind of four or five year olds Finney's getting a bit big for it now so we're gonna get him a bigger desk but this is great for little ones to just do some drawing on and things like that again they're all from the same kind of range and I think they look great and then over here we've got a toy box which I get so many questions about it's got loads and loads of room in here for lots of toys and it's just great we've got two of these 
up for the boys they've got one each and it's just very very useful it's quite deep as you can see there and you can get loads and loads of toys in there so that is another great useful item my final favourite IKEA item for this video is my shoe storage. So this is a shoe cabinet. I saw this on display when I was in IKEA not too long ago and I thought it was great for this room. It fits perfectly behind the door, which is what I wanted. And basically this is just a wardrobe unit. I think this is a PAX unit. And you open it up like so, and this is what it looks like. So when I was in IKEA, they didn't have all of these shelves in here. Basically they just had one rail at the top and then one of these shelves at the bottom. And when I I saw that I thought actually I could just buy loads of these shelves because you can buy them individually and stack them like so so I could put all of my shoes in there and it's perfect if you wanted to you could customize this because that is exactly what IKEA furniture is all about customizing it to your taste and to your needs so if you wanted to you could put a rail at the top so you could put some coats and then like halfway down you could put more shoe storage like I've done here but the whole of this is for our shoe storage right now down the bottom here I've just popped a couple of baskets so I could put like hats gloves and things like that in perfect for us as a family of five we can get all of our shoes in here obviously not the babies because he hasn't got any yet but everyone else has got all of their main like shoes in here and then we keep the rest upstairs in our wardrobe but that is my absolute favorite buy I think it's fab and then obviously you've got the mirror so before you're going out or whatever, you can have a little look and see how you're looking. So yeah, that is my favorite item from Ikea at the moment. I think it looks really, really great in this room. Although this room is soon to be a utility room, I think this is such a great buy, especially if you haven't got much space in your house. It's a great space saver because it's quite narrow and it does store a lot of shoes in there as well. So that is my favorite Ikea item at the moment. So that is the end of my IKEA Best Buys video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know what your absolute favorite item is from IKEA. I would love to know. I'm always looking for new things to get from there. I absolutely love that shop. So thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.